there's something else too that we didn't write down that we definitely should talk about and that is if you're ever feeling like you're being affected at so when you get into the higher densities you have the light beings the, the negative and the positive ones right so if you ever feel like you're being affected by one of these negative beings the best thing to do is to not be afraid and Ra says that you show them love and light because they can't handle it and they just automatically run away. So the way I took that as say I have a habit that I'm trying to kick and I'm really mad, like say I can't stop watching the pornos, right? What I'll do is if I end up watching the pornos, instead of getting mad at myself and fearing or being afraid of it, I just say, it's okay that I did this. It's all right. You know, this is, it's fine. Part and of I can journey. look at it. What's that? It's part of your journey. It's, it's part, part of, of my journey. journey. I could look at it as a negative entity that's trying to affect me, that's trying to get me to do this. But instead of doing some kind of like a exorcism where you're going with the body of Christ and the blood of Christ will redeem you and all in holy water, you could just say you look at this entity as a exterior thing in the world. And you could say, I show, I understand. I show you love and light, you know, like this is why I do this because things that happened to me when I was young, I was subjected to all this crazy stuff when I was 10 or 12. And then it affected me. So now I want to watch the pornos, right? But you could say it's fine, though. And then in that way, you're showing it the same compassion and understanding that I just talked about for when you're have to off somebody through self defense, right? You're showing it that and then it just, it just goes away, you know, and then I don't know, that's how I'm, I'm using it, like in a real world situation, but it could be any kind of attack that you feel like you're doing you know like even if you're in a, a dark room somewhere and something happens you can get scared and you think a demon's coming or whatever it is because some people experience yeah. this differently they'll experience audio or visual auditory mm -hmm. or, or visual uh representations of this demon you just don't have fear because that's the only power you're giving it the power over you by fearing it so if you don't have fear and you have love and light because you don't want to be like, oh, I can beat you. I'm more stronger. My God's stronger than you. That's just kind of that really reminds me of pride, you know, like and uh, all that stuff. So you just show love, light and understanding. And the way that Ra explains it is these beings can't be near love and light. So they just because it'll leave. it'll affect their polar, their negative polarization. They're trying to be as negative as possible. They're trying to be 95 percent or more negative. Because if they, if they dip down, then they have to polarize positive and they don't want to. And that's okay. That's their choice. That's their journey. But, you know, if you don't show them uh, fear and you show them love, they will, they'll have to go away because if they experience any kind of love, they'll polarize the other way. And there's good news for them too, because Ra says at some point, I, we can't remember if it's after the fifth dimension or sixth dimension they actually switch polarizations like they're not they allowed a negative being isn't allowed to go up to the the highest one to and, 7D. yeah and to the 7d and what happens is just like we call upon positive forces to help us and they come like raw and all this stuff and who are, however it happens in your life through synchronicities through you know these coincidences that might happen through certain things negative people also get help and i mean you can see that in the world, right? How people who are living fear-based lives and they're just in the spiral and all this negative stuff is happening, but it, it's actually helping them along their path. So these entities, when they leave from the third dimension and they're 95% uh, negative, they're in the higher dimension. And when they're helping people in the lower dimension, after a while, all that help, they start to care for them and they start to develop uh love and that gets them out of that negative polarity but they it's like they just have to learn the hard way and it really it's just like darth vader right <laughs> darth vader had to try to help his son luke skywalker come to the dark side and by trying to help him he that's what caused him. him to flip over <laughs> and then throw the emperor over the freaking side of the rail he, he had to go son. all the way, though. He had to literally become half machine and all gross and nasty and kill everybody in the universe and be this feared guy. But yet he tr he started to help his son and his heart opened up and it just boom. Love. You know? Love. Yeah. Love, it, love, love. It crept in. Love.